Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Sri Tips here. It is day three of the silver cell operation. Here you can see I've got a nice current flow of 1.1 amps at 3.6 volts. What we're going to do now, we're going to come down here. I'm going to take the electrode bar out of the anode basket and set it over here off to the side. And we're going to recharge the filter with some more of our impure silver. And then reinstall the anode electrode bar. And you can see here that our amperage just went up just a tad bit because we forced some of the silver down into the anode basket filter and it's making better contact with the electrolyte in the cell. If you look down in the cell here you can see the pure silver crystal. You can see that the electrolyte level has fallen due to evaporation. And so what we're going to do is we're going to augment the electrolyte level with some fresh electrolyte that we dissolved in the uh, first video that we uh, started the series with. This is some electrolyte silver nitrate solution contains about a hundred grams of pure silver crystal dissolved in about what is that 400 milliliters of solution so we're gonna go ahead and filter this now I've got a funnel set up here with a filter paper in it so what we'll do is reach back in here grab our silver nitrate solution this is about 100 grams of pure silver dissolved in about 400 milliliters of solution I'm just gonna filter this Here's our silver nitrate solution, crystal clear and colorless like water. And while it's pulling through that filter, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tear this beaker to zero. We've got the beaker teared to zero on the scale. So now what we'll do is I've got some silver crystal here and I'll measure out about 600 grams of this into our beaker. about 627 grams of pure silver added to the beaker. I've got that silver nitrate pulled through this filter. We'll just rinse it out real good with some distilled water. Here's our 620 grams of silver, plus there's a little bit left in there from the previous dissolve. Let's get this scale out of the way. Now what I'll do is add some distilled water. Got to use distilled water when working with silver. Tap water contains chlorine and the chlorine will instantly form silver chloride in this solution, so we've got to use tap water. 
I filled it up to about the 600 milliliter level with distilled water, not tap water. Got to use distilled water when we're working with silver. Tap water won't work. Now I'll add some nitric acid and begin dissolving this pure silver crystal. This is making electrolyte for the next silver cell run. I usually get two runs out of each batch of electrolyte that I make here. What I do is I use the electrolyte for the first batch and then I add a couple of hundred grams of pure silver to augment the second use electrolyte because the silver does get depleted from the electrolyte as the cell, oper cell operates. So we'll put this up on the heat now. And we'll let this begin to react. This is the electrolyte for a future running of our silver cell. Now let's transfer our electrolyte out of here. into a uh, container. Let's get this funnel out of the way. You can see in the uh, filter here, it's absolutely nothing in there. It's clean as a whistle. I reserve this funnel. It's a 12.5 centimeter funnel. And this rubber adapter for use with silver only. I use both of these with just silver, no gold. Let's get this out of the way. And now what we'll do is bring up a container. And we're gonna add the silver nitrate into this storage container. See how clear that is? Beautiful. I'm gonna pour it right in here now. This is a time lapse of the complete sequence, dissolving the electrolyte for the future refining. This takes the longest in preparation for getting the cell ready for operation, so I do it in advance. And you'll see there that the solution looks like it's turning blue, and that would lead one to think that there's copper in that solution, but there is no copper in there. This is nearly four nines fine pure silver crystal from my silver cell. The blue color has disappeared as the uh, reaction progresses. And what that blue color is, so I've been told, is with the nitric acid in there, it reflects the light a certain way and it appears blue. Here the reaction is nearly complete and you can see that the electrolyte is clear and colorless. Dissolving the silver for our next batch of electrolyte for a future refining in our silver cell is complete. You can see we don't have any more fumes being produced in there. There is still some silver in there. What I'll do is I'll let this cool off, then we'll filter the solution and store it. And then I'll add some more dilute nitric acid and dissolve the rest of the silver in the bottom of that beaker and the 
The reason we do it that way is we don't want a whole bunch of excess nitric in with our electrolyte. We want to keep the uh, amount of free nitric in the electrolyte to a minimum. Here I've got some distilled water in a beaker, some of our silver nitrate solution in this flask. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these two liquids to top off the solar cell. If you look down in here, you'll see that the liquid level is getting kind of low. Down in there, see that? So what we'll do is begin by adding a little bit of our silver nitrate solution to augment the silver nitrate concentration in the electrolyte. The silver nitrate concentration gets depleted as the cell operates, so we need to add a little bit more as the cell operates, and this will replenish the actual concentration of the silver nitrate in our electrolyte. Next I'll add a little bit of water. That was about 100 milliliters of distilled water. Now we'll stir this up to get a nice consistent mixture in here. The two densities of the silver nitrate and the water will tend to uh, keep them separated from each other. So by stirring it up it'll uh, ensure a consistent mixture of silver nitrate and water. Adding that extra electrolyte didn't really increase the uh, current flow much, but it did replenish the level down in the cell. And here's a look down in there. You can see the pretty bright, shiny crystals of high purity silver forming on the inside of the cathode in our silver cell. I've been seeing the question in the comments section, why don't we just add the silver powder directly into the anode filter and I tried that once and what happened was the filter got clogged up for whatever reason I don't know why and then the current flow dropped off rapidly when I added the cement silver directly into the anode filter basket so rather than adding this silver powder what we do is we uh, I melt the silver powder into some granules like you see right here and then we feed these granules in and it seems to uh, do much better than adding the powder directly into the anode filter Another question I get is, this is our electrolyte. It's crystal clear and colorless like water. And as we run the cell, the electrolyte begins to turn blue, as you can see here. And the reason is, is because the, uh, the impure silver that we're feeding into the anode basket has a little bit of copper in it about 
one or two percent of these granules is copper it's about 98 to 99 percent pure silver so as the cell operates that copper dissolves from the electric current going through the impure silver in the anode basket here and it passes through the filter into the electrolyte and that's why the electrolyte turns blue this will conclude day three of the silver cell refining video series that we're trying to do here it is progressing nicely that pure silver crystal in that blue liquid looks just gorgeous and this will conclude day three of the silver cell refining video series. Thank you for watching.